Lin Jing was introduced to a blind date by his mother's colleague, Aunt Zhang, before becoming an elderly leftover O. This alpha is particularly in line with Lin Jing's taste, with a handsome appearance and a tall and imposing figure. Lin Jing said that this is simply tailor-made for him. Later on, he discovered how pure and loyal the heart of a loyal dog lay behind the other person's Sea King face. Ah 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 ah, this contrast is so cute. You have wood, it's so easy to poke him, he loves it so much. Liang Chongyu met a little son Omega on a blind date. The other party's criteria for choosing a spouse are particularly suitable everywhere. He will spoil himself, call himself brother, and even smile sweetly at himself. So he lived up to expectations and fell, the kind that he couldn't extricate himself from. Chapter 1 Dating You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Ko Lois Ara Trong Quatrin Lay Text Chapter 2 Having Favorite Feelings You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Ko Lois Ara Trong Quatrin Lay Text Chapter 3 Iron Tree Blossoms You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Ko Lois Ara Trong Quatrin Lay Text Chapter 4 Bars you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Qin Xu felt that this person had finally consulted him once, so of course he had to play the role of a kind-hearted brother. So, he walked up to Liang Chongyu and hugged his shoulder, Come on, tell my brother what kind of person the blind date is, Omega or Beta. Cute or sexy? He said while also winking at him. Liang Chongyu was extremely annoyed and regretted telling him about this, but if he really wanted to learn from it, there was no better candidate than Qin Shu. It's Omega, very beautiful, smiling like a little sun. Liang Chongyu spoke with a gentle tone that he didn't even notice. Qin Shu let out a sigh, rubbed his arm, and goosebumps started to rise. However, on the other hand, Omega. You're quite lucky, Omega has already caught your eye, TSK 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 TSK. What kind of luck is this? Even blind dates can attract Omega. Does Omega require blind dates? In today's society, every Omega that stops there is always several alphas grabbing it. Liang Chongyu didn't seem to notice the teasing in his words at all. Well, I also feel that I was so lucky to have met him. Qin Shu reasonably suspects that he is showing off, and he has evidence. He looked at the time and found that his break was almost over. He still had some work to do, so he said to Liang Chongyu, let's go have a drink after work today. After thinking about it, he added, to celebrate that you finally have someone to take, ha ha ha. Liang Chongyu felt helpless and said, the eight characters have not been completely removed yet. Now it's just a relationship with a blind date. With me as a master of love, it's not even a matter of time. You just have a hundred hearts, Qin Shu said confidently. Liang Chongyu didn't believe it very much, and he also had serious doubts. The emotions in his eyes were too obvious, and Qin Shu felt that he had been looked down upon. He he, let's wait and see. Sooner or later, let Liang Chongyu call him his father. Tonight I'll show you what a true master of love is, he said, slightly lifting his chin and tidying up his non-existent suit jacket. Liang Chongyu waved and said, Get out of here. If he doesn't leave, he won't be able to resist hitting someone. Qin Shu, with a look on his face, you will regret everything you did to me today and then leave. Liang Chongyu shook his head helplessly and continued working. At six o'clock in the evening, Qin Shu arrived at Liang Chongyu's office very punctually, staring at him like someone might run away. This is of course because someone has a criminal record. Although it was agreed to have a dinner together after work, everyone was here, but Liang Chongyu had not yet arrived. I only found out after calling and asking, but they have already gone back and said they are not feeling well today and are sick. Of course, this is an excuse. Qin Shu immediately recognized that being sick was fake, and not wanting to participate was real. He he, a cunning man. 
Liang Chongyu felt guilty when he saw Qin Shu waiting for him at the office door. Although he didn't plan to run away this time, he still felt that Qin Shu had seen through him. He finished dealing with the matter at hand and walked out with his things. Let's go, he said they walked together to the company gate, intending to take a taxi. On a summer evening, the sun is about to set, and the entire sky is filled with a warm orange-yellow color. The evening breeze is very cool, and inadvertently, it takes away the fatigue of the day. Where are we going? Goog Boy Goog Boy is a well-known bar in this city. During the day, the environment is beautiful and quiet, clean and tidy, making it perfect for chatting and dating. There will be performances in the evening, and there will be pre-arranged programs every night. After the performance, everyone can also volunteer to come on stage, and the atmosphere is very lively. And most importantly, good boys' protection and security measures for Omega are perfect. So there are also many Omega who come here, which has also led many Alphas to come here to find partners. So this bar is very popular among young people in this city. Liang Chongyu said yes, so they got on the car and walked towards good boy. Good Boy is in the busiest commercial street in the city center, not far from them, and they quickly arrived at their destination. They are also considered old customers here. After entering, they found a quieter and more secluded location, and then ordered some of their favorite drinks. Because the evening performance had not yet started and there were not many people in the bar, their drinks quickly came up. Qin Shu picked up a glass and poured the wine, then looked at Liang Chongyu. Liang Chongyu knew what he meant by this. He calmly took a sip of the wine and said, Just say whatever you want. Qin Shu let out a sigh and said, It's a bit awkward to deliberately pick it up and say it again because the topic at noon has been interrupted. Liang Chongyu glanced at him and said, I didn't know you were also afraid of embarrassment. Qin Shu coughed a bit unnaturally and took another sip of the wine. So what? Let's talk about your Omega, he said Liang Chongyu was too lazy to correct him, and being told that Lin Jing was his own Omega was a bit dark and satisfying. I told you everything I could say at noon, didn't I? Upon closer inspection, I could still see Liang Chongyu's ears slightly red and his expression slightly unnatural. Of course, Qin Shu did not notice these things. He was just a bit incredulous. Is there nothing else? Then he remembered what Liang Chongyu had said to him at noon, and his heart was clear. I also want to know what has happened between this social anxiety and others before they even start. Then chat on WeChat, I saw your chat records. We talked about it, but not much. Show me, Qin Shu had a hint of gossip on his face. Liang Chongyu didn't really want to show him, but now Qin Shu was a bit helpful to him, so he reluctantly took out his phone and showed Qin Shu his chat records with Lin Jing. Qin Shu took his phone and started reading with enthusiasm on his face. Half a minute later, is that it? His voice became louder, somewhat incredulous. Did you come back yesterday and chat with them all day today? Liang Chongyu felt a little embarrassed and angry. Then why am I looking for you? I have my own way. What's up with you? Qin Shu thought that Liang Chongyu might not have talked much to him, but that's too much. He's still so stubborn. Son, Dad thought you were a love fool, but he didn't expect you to be a love idiot, he said, leaning towards Liang Chongyu with a fake cry in his voice. It's all Dad's fault for not teaching you the experience properly. Liang Chongyu knew that the person had started again and said, Get out of here, speak up well. If you continue like this, this matter will come to an end. Qin Shu immediately finished. Hey hey hey, don't, this is not a joke to liven up the atmosphere. After he cleared his throat, a tone that I was about to start pretending to be forced, I'll tell you how to flirt with Xiao O. Liang Chongyu also asked to start your performance with a smile on his face. First of all, do you know what to do when adding WeChat? Liang Chongyu Say hello. Qin Shushan shook his head inexplicably and said, No, you have to check your social media. 
WeChat moments, yes, moments. Look at someone's moments, analyze their hobbies, see if they share common interests, and find similarities with each other. This way, not only do you have topics to talk about with them, but you can also keep talking non-stop. What if there is no common interest? Liang Chongyu asked seriously with a curious gaze. Don't be afraid even if you don't have one. If you don't have one, you can talk to them about different hobbies, create topics they are interested in, and try some rainbow farts to give them a sense of achievement. Then, you can also talk about your own hobbies. Liang Chongyu showed a learned expression, and his gaze at Qin Shu was a bit different. What he said makes sense. It seems that he does have something, shouldn't he have misunderstood him? Qin Shu felt it and immediately became proud, speaking confidently, also, you can share your daily life with others. What did you do in the day, what interesting things happened, what made you happy, what made you feel sad, and so on. But isn't all this nonsense? Won't it disturb others? Liang Chongyu felt that it was a bit offensive. Qin Shu looked at Liang Chongyu with a hint of sympathy in his eyes. Since getting to know Liang Chongyu, he seemed to have never seen anyone share his life with. Even if an ordinary person doesn't have a romantic relationship, they will at least tell their parents about their day and let them not worry about themselves. But Liang Chongyu didn't even have this. He later learned about his mother's death and his upbringing in the countryside. But not much is known. I don't know if his social anxiety is related to these things. Thinking of this, he began to feel a little distressed for Liang Chongyu, you hope the other person understands you, and when they see you, they will also talk to you about things related to their daily life. Don't you get to know them better then? He suddenly picked up Liang Chongyu's phone and opened his chat record with Lin Jing. You're right about what you're saying, he pointed to the photo of Liang Chongyu giving Lin Jing lunch at noon. You can also send some photos, he pointed to the photo Lin Jing gave him back. Don't you think he also replied to you? Do you know at this point that he went home today and what else he had to eat? Liang Chongyu seemed thoughtful and indeed made some sense. Qin Shu knew from his expression that what he said was not completely useless. Then he began to let Liang Chongyu practice. Come on, come on, you review the lesson just now, he returned his phone to Liang Chongyu. I'll give you another practical course. He said as he watched Liang Chongyu click on Lin Jing's social circle. A minute later, the two of them looked at each other and said, What is this? Qin Shu pointed out the problem and said, This is a good boy, isn't it? Why do you look so familiar? Liang Chongyu nodded solemnly and said, Yes, it's here. Qin Shu immediately started laughing and said, Ha ha ha, you guys still have a lot of fate. You can even come out of work to relax and meet each other. On the mobile interface, the latest content released by Lin Jing Social Circle is a short video, which shows the newly entered section of the bar and the lobby counter. Because the performance hasn't started yet at night, and the colorful lights in the bar are not on either. But it's a blue-purple color with warm yellow lights, making the entire bar very atmospheric and allowing you to clearly see the layout of the bar. Liang Chongyu looked at the same layout inside and outside the mobile phone, and his face was complex. Qin Shu actually thinks this is a very good opportunity. Maybe he can call Lin Jing over to see him. Come on, come on, your opportunity has arrived, just in time to check what you just learned. Liang Chongyu doesn't think so, he's a bit nervous. He looked at Qin Shu with a hint of help in his eyes, and the thought of seeing Lin Jing soon made his palms start to sweat nervously. But if we really don't see each other, he wouldn't be very happy to give up this opportunity, and it's a bit disappointing. Qin Shu found this kind of Liang Chongyu very interesting. Although he could see him every few days when he wanted to meet unfamiliar clients, the current Liang Chongyu was clearly more interesting than ever before. Qin Shu was about to burst out laughing. What are you afraid of? Aren't you trying to get closer to them? What a great opportunity! Liang Chongyu remained serious and said, I know. I'm not afraid. If you weren't so formidable, 
I could still reluctantly trust you, Qin Shu thought to himself. You'd better find a way to talk to someone quickly, preferably to meet them in person. Liang Chongyu doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know how to say it so as not to appear very deliberate. Finally, he suddenly had a flash of inspiration and commented on Lin Jing's social circle, little spicy strips. Good boy. When Lin Jing saw this comment, he was chatting with his friends about their target audience. He was not surprised that Liang Chongyu could know about this place, after all, it is still very popular here. Yes, Liang Chongyu replied with a reserved and less deliberate tone. I'm also here, Lin Jing was surprised and happy. They are so destined that they can come out and meet each other. He certainly wouldn't think that their living circle is so close and they are still in the same city, and this coincidence is normal. He just thinks they have a strong connection. Lin Jing excitedly sent him a private message. Where and where? Where are you? I'll go find you. Chapter 5 Is there such fate? You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Ko Lois A.R.A. Trong Qua Trin Lay Text Chapter 6 Drunk Omega You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Ko Lois A.R.A. Trong Qua Trin Lay Text Chapter 7 Is That All About Love? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Liang Chong Yu also sat down and started eating, but no one spoke and the atmosphere was too quiet. Lin Jing, in order to wash away the excitement brought by these things in the morning, was organizing his memories while eating. What did he do yesterday and why hasn't Liang Chong Yu returned yet? Liang Chong Yu was observing Lin Jing's condition. He wanted to know if Lin Jing remembered what happened yesterday and how much he remembered so that he could further implement his plan. Lin Jing is still trying to fill his mouth. Suddenly, he puts a cup of soybean milk in front of him. He looks up at Liang Chongyu, thanks in a low voice, and takes a drink. How much do you remember about last night? Upon hearing this sentence, Lin Jing didn't quite understand his meaning. Before he could finish his sentence, he was struck by another memory. He saw himself from the perspective of a third person, playing tricks on Liang Chongyu, belittling him, confessing to him, threatening him to be with him, refusing to let him go home, and holding his hand while sleeping. Liang Chongyu saw that Lin Jing's white and pure face quickly dyed pink, getting redder and redder. In the end, he couldn't help but lower his head. It was only then that he was certain that Lin Jing remembered it all. Liang Chongyu coughed lightly and cleared his throat, Do you remember everything? Lin Jing felt ashamed and angry, ready to die. Hmm. He only realized now that there was no most social death, only more social death. When I woke up in the morning, the social death was nothing compared to now. Liang Chongyu also lowered his head and said, What do you think? Lin Jing immediately distanced himself from last night's self and made an effort to be serious. It's all drunk nonsense, don't take it seriously. I'm actually quite serious, he said Liang Chongyu had thought about this possibility and felt that yesterday's Lin Jing might have made a slip of the tongue after drinking, so there was no need to take it seriously. Even though he had made sufficient psychological preparations, he couldn't help but feel disappointed. Forget it, it should have been like this, shouldn't it? As Lin Jing watched Liang Chongyu explain himself, he became more and more disappointed, feeling a bit overwhelmed. He remembered what Liang Chongyu said yesterday, if you still have the same idea tomorrow, then let's be together. He looked at Liang Chongyu's disappointed gaze and felt like a peerless scumbag, teasing him without taking responsibility. And even though he had some drunken remarks yesterday, he didn't deceive anyone if he liked Liang Chongyu. Lin Jing suddenly cleared his throat, straightened his waist and back, and pretended to take a natural turn. But, as he spoke, he observed Liang Chongyu and found that although he didn't seem to care on the surface, he still straightened his ears and felt a bit amused. But what I said yesterday wasn't entirely nonsense. There was also truth to it, he said Liang Chongyu unexpectedly raised his head and met Lin Jing's suggestive gaze. 
Which sentence do you think it was? Liang Chongyu is a bit hot, and it's too exciting in the early morning. The pheromones are out of control again. In fact, Liang Chongyu is a person with strong self-control. Before encountering Lin Jing, he had never experienced uncontrolled pheromone drifting. But now, due to Lin Jing, he can't control pheromones from time to time. Lin Jing also smelled the smell and raised his eyebrows a bit unexpectedly. Alpha and Omega only reveal pheromones when there are significant emotional fluctuations. So Lin Jing also noticed that Liang Chongyu is not as calm as he appears on the surface now. He stopped teasing Liang Chongyu and his face became serious. Yesterday, I said I like you sincerely, and of course, it also has the essence of wine, but it's not important. I really like you and hope we can develop a long-term relationship. If you also have a good impression of me, you can consider it. And I'm not young anymore. If I have to be with someone and fall in love with someone, I hope that person is you. He is not entirely certain about these things. He just felt that Liang Chongyu got along well with him and liked him a bit. He also thought that Liang Chongyu might like him, so he wanted to give it a try. It doesn't matter if the relationship isn't deep yet, it can also be cultivated later on. Lin Jing had finished all that was supposed to be said, and now he felt a bit uneasy. He is now as restless as waiting for his final judgment. After listening to Lin Jing's words, Liang Chongyu felt as if he was flying in the clouds, intertwined with sweetness and excitement, making him feel somewhat like a dream. His face blushed with shyness, and his eyes sparkled with joy and happiness, as if the whole world had become bright. He looked into Lin Jing's eyes with a passionate and determined expression, I also really like you. I really liked you the first time we met. Although Lin Jing had anticipated it earlier, he was still very excited when he was confessed so straightforwardly for the first time. His eyes sparkled as he looked at Liang Chongyu with a smile, then please give me more guidance, boyfriend. Upon hearing this title, Liang Chongyu also smiled, and his scorching eyes seemed to soften. They finished breakfast together, and Liang Chongyu cleaned up the kitchen. Lin Jing looked at his back and suddenly realized that he had gotten off the hook and had known someone for less than three days. It was unbelievable. How could such good news not be shared? So he took out his phone, clicked on the group chat of the four, and sent two messages in unison. Lin Jing. Are you all awake? Lin Jing. When you wake up, come and gather for a moment. I have some good news to inform everyone. These two messages have been sent out for a long time without any response, so it seems that everyone is busy. He shifted his gaze from his phone to his new boyfriend. Stains and stains, this figure, this long leg, are simply growing on his aesthetic point. Stains and stains, whose boyfriend is so perfect even wearing a home pajama, just like going on a runway show. Wait, why do the clothes on him look so familiar? Why do you look so like the clothes you bought a few days ago? Then he saw Liang Chongyu go to the balcony, take out his dried clothes, go back to change clothes, and finally realized that it was the clothes he gave him last night. He saw Liang Chongyu change into clothes and suddenly remembered, why didn't you go to work today? Liang Chongyu paused for a moment with a clear smile in his tone, I'm on leave today. Lin Jing looked at his smile and had a bad premonition that his absence today was related to himself. Smart people never cause trouble for themselves, so Lin Jing didn't ask further. Lin Jing said nothing else and continued to look at his phone. I suddenly have a boyfriend and there are no arrangements for him to stay at his house now. Liang Chongyu looked at Lin Jing's indifferent demeanor, so it's not appropriate to just keep going like this. So he walked over to Lin Jing and sat down, feeling a bit nervous. Let's go on a date today. Today is our first day, and I have a whole day off today. In fact, Lin Jing is also a bit uncomfortable. He has never been in a relationship and is not very familiar with the process of dating and getting along with his boyfriend. So Liang Chongyu's suggestion provided him with an option. With something to do, the atmosphere is not as tense as before. 
Lin Jing quickly packed up and went out with Liang Chongyu. After leaving, Lin Jing followed Liang Chongyu. He looked at Liang Chongyu as if he had plans, so he didn't say anything. Liang Chongyu walked with Lin Jing for a while and asked him, Do you know where we're going? Lin Jing was a bit stunned. Ah! Isn't it going on a date? Liang Chongyu smiled, not the small curved smile, but the involuntary laughter that was poked at the laughing spot. Lin Jing suspected that Liang Chongyu was laughing at him, but he had no evidence. But this didn't affect Lin Jing's performance. He was a bit angry and shouted loudly to Liang Chongyu, What's going on? There was also a hint of anger in it. Liang Chongyu suppressed a smile and said, What I mean is, do you know what we're going to do? Where exactly are we going? I don't know, Lin Jing said with a stern expression Liang Chongyu, aren't you curious? Why don't you ask me? Lin Jing just realized it was right. Why didn't he ask just now? Liang Chongyu looked at him in a daze and said, Do you just believe me that way? Lin Jing looked a little disdainful and said, What's wrong? Are you still selling me? Liang Chongyu pretended to be thinking and imitated his tone, It's really possible, after all, such a beautiful Omega is worth a lot of money. Lin Jing, then if you sell me, you won't have a boyfriend anymore. Humph, you're a single dog. Liang Chongyu's expression suddenly came to his senses and he said, Yes, then shouldn't I not only not be able to sell you, but also take good care of you. Lin Jing's proud and coquettish face said, Yes. Liang Chongyu smiled and looked at him, feeling that Lin Jing's expression was too cute. He couldn't help but pinch his face. As he pinched and said, he also learned from Lin Jing, Okay, I can only look at you carefully. Lin Jing patted his hand away and said fiercely, Don't learn from me. Liang Chongyu laughed loudly, feeling that he had found the treasure, which should have been a reward for half a lifetime of hard work. He smiled and hugged Lin Jing into his arms, Do you like making handicrafts? Liang Chongyu was very tall, almost 1.9 meters tall, holding Lin Jing, who was half a head shorter than himself, just enough to fill his embrace, inexplicably fitting. Lin Jing was suddenly hugged, and his voice became quieter as he lost his previous arrogance. It's okay, I'm interested, but I haven't done much, he said Liang Chongyu hugged him and led him forward, then we can go and make handicrafts. Although I had already made up my mind, I still discussed with Lin Jing in an uncertain tone. Lin Jing didn't like it and happened to switch to another one. But Lin Jing was clearly very interested and was very enthusiastic all the way. They went to a market that looked a bit old but was very clean. Each booth and store is neatly organized, and the interior is clean and tidy, without making people feel unhappy due to the dilapidation here. Liang Chongyu led Lin Jing through the market and walked into an alley behind it. This alley is not much better than the area in front, but it is still very clean. Lin Jing followed Liang Chongyu and finally arrived at the destination, which is a handmade ring shop. The store is not very big, but it is not too small either. The lighting inside the store is very good, and you can easily see the layout inside. After entering, the first thing you see is a ring, a variety of rings. There are several glass cabinets below, all with lights on, and you can clearly see the appearance of each ring inside. Most of them are placed in the glass cabinets below, and some are hung on walls and doors. But strangely, each ring has no price. There is a handsome old man sitting at the front desk. Although his face is weathered, it can still be seen that he has captivated many young people when he was young. The master heard someone come in and looked up. He saw Liang Chongyu smile gently and said, Xiao Liang is coming. Liang Chongyu also greeted his grandfather with a smile and said, Grandpa Wang, how have you been lately? The prince chuckled and said, It's still the same, with ups and downs. He saw Lin Jing next to Liang Chongyu and smiled even happier. Who is this? Liang Chongyu felt embarrassed but happily introduced Lin Jing, This is my boyfriend, Lin Jing. Lin Jing obediently greeted Liang Chongyu and said, 
hello, prince. The prince narrowed his eyes with a smile and said, hey, good, good, good boyfriend. Then he pointed at Liang Chongyu and shook his head with a smile, hey, you kid. Liang Chongyu also laughed. Lin Jing didn't know what riddle they were playing, but still didn't say much. The prince seemed to know the purpose of Liang Chongyu coming here. Come and make the ring, right. Go, go to the studio behind me. Don't disturb me if you have nothing to do. Liang Chongyu let out a sigh and took Lin Jing to the studio. Unlike the outside, this studio is very large and spacious, with several workstations placed inside. On each workbench, there are instructions and precautions for using tools. Liang Chongyu skillfully sat in front of a workbench and took out a book from the drawer below. After seeing the layout here, Lin Jing walked over and sat down next to Liang Chongyu. There are many styles of rings in the book that Liang Chongyu is holding, which should be a tutorial on making. You can follow the tutorial to make the one you want. Liang Chongyu's words also confirmed his imagination. He gestured to Lin Jing to read the book and said, Let's make a pair of couple rings. This idea is very clever. When they first started dating, they wore a couple's ring and swore sovereignty. Lin Jing had a look on his face that I saw through you, and he said, You have a strong possessiveness, Mr. Liang. Liang Chongyu was not afraid that he would see it out and openly admitted, Yes, Mr. Lin. After all, my boyfriend is so good. Looking and excellent, and we must let everyone know that he is a well. Known figure with a strong sense of ownership. He pulled Lin Jing and clasped his hand on it. Lin Jing blushed and his heart beat as he said, How could you do this? Liang Chongyu approached him, his breath swirling in Lin Jing's ear. How am I, hmm? Lin Jing couldn't bear it anymore, but when he looked out, he saw Yang Chongyu's ears slightly red and his eyes suddenly widened. Oh ho, so you're not as adept as you seem, Mr. Liang. But Lin Jing is a bit overwhelmed now, so he has temporarily given up the idea of continuing to flirt with Liang Chongyu. He broke free from Liang Chongyu's hand and deliberately shifted the topic, so what do we do now? Liang Chongyu smiled lightly and then began explaining the process of making a ring to Lin Jing. Chapter 8 Couple Rings You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Ko Lois Ara Trong Qua Trin Lay Text. Chapter 9 Good Night Kiss You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Ko Lois Ara Trong Qua Trin Lay Text. Chapter 10 Early Susceptibility Period You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The Ko Lois Ara Trong Quatrin Lay Text.